What's up, Aquarius? Welcome to your October tarot forecast. I feel like there's a lot of good things happening for you, so you should be excited about your next steps, but I also feel like there's this deep readiness for release, and I'm also hearing a need for integration and application and like embodiment, actually doing the things that you know you should be doing. I feel like a lot of you are figuring out how to rebalance your scales. So maybe for a long time, you've been um, giving too much and not receiving enough, or you've been in a relationship or a collaboration. It could also be connected to your family, work, friends, whatever, but there's an overall energetic connection here that it looks like it's expired. It's time for you to move forward in a new direction. And in the center of your reading, you have this two of cups reverse. But what's really nice about this is that it's with the uh, Justice card, and that is connected to Libra. You are an air sign. Libra is an air sign. We just had an eclipse, a new moon eclipse in Libra. So you, an air sign, and Libra, an air sign, the two of you, you would feel that a lot. This new moon eclipse, it was doing a lot. Um, I have a whole workshop, so you can just watch that anytime. I'm not going to dive into it, but especially because you are an air sign and it's in the center of your reading, okay, we have this justice card here. This is about karmic endings and um, new cycles beginning. I also feel like in your life right now, maybe there are some ideas or people that are showing up. These are really good connections for you moving forward, but for you to really take um, advantage of these new connections, you need more available space. So how do you create more space? You need to actually just allow yourself to move forward in a new way without all of the attachments and the old connections, the old collaborations, the old work or whatever. There's also parts of yourself that I feel like it's like a long time ago or whatever, but I feel like these old parts of yourself sort of died and you're just like, I'm not really interested in continuing to socialize with these people or to do these things, behaviors, habits, these belief systems that have been limiting me for so long. Now I'm getting rid of them. So that shift has happened, but you're still carrying it. You're still carrying parts of that outdated way of thinking. Or up until now, you've maybe still been carrying um, an idea or a connection to these other connections that you've in theory let go, but you're still attached to them in some way, if that makes sense. So anyways, I feel like now there's a deep knowing and a readiness for you to actually move forward and really initiate that new cycle. And I say that because this eclipse, okay, I just wanna say this eclipse was very powerful for a lot of reasons. Um, and I talk about that in the workshop. So if you haven't watched the workshop, I'm going to tag it right here, actually. It's 25 minutes. It's a home video. You can watch it anytime and you can pay whatever you want. So it's like, it's really important that you watch that and understand how to work with this energy because this was the last eclipse of this year and it's initiating a new six month cycle. Now this six month cycle will bring you into next year. So it's really important that we're activating this energy now and then we're bringing forward that energy into the new year. Okay, so this was the last eclipse and it was a new moon solar eclipse. That means New, new chapters, new identity, new connections, collaborations, romance, etc. So make sure that you use this energy to activate all of that and to understand how to work with it, okay? When you're done watching this, go watch that workshop. I'm gonna tag it right here. You have this magician energy, you have this fool energy, you've got this eight of coins. So like, yes, new chapter, new beginning, new initiations, but, and I feel like some of you are maybe you're thinking about a trip that you want to take or you're planning a move or something like that, or energetically, emotionally, it's like you are ready to explore new territories, like things you've never really experienced before. So maybe that's new cultures or languages, foods, whatever, movement practices, um, daily practices, um, maybe some of you are ready to get a little bit more vulnerable with people. I know Aquarius, I love you, but sometimes when things feel a little bit too, woo, this is really intimate. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to like disconnect and like 
just pew, go off in this direction. Or if you notice that things get a little bit stressful, what can we do? We detach. Like Aquarius is really good at detaching. So use that detaching ability, that skill set to detach from things that don't actually serve you for the next chapter and not um, just the things that you don't need. And, and I think the more you really sort of reflect and examine what you've been spending your time, energy, and money on up until now, you'll notice that you just know some of these things are not coming into this next chapter, okay? Um, Loki, come here. Loki, give me one second. Loki, come here. Look. Come here. Look at this. Okay. That's my kitten screaming in the background <laughs> because some of you need to pay attention to whatever I was just talking about. Um, so what was I just saying? We were talking about you practicing non-attachment to the things and the habits and the people and the beliefs that don't actually serve you. There he goes again. So um, I think that, and he thinks <laughs> that there is really like a deep readiness. I think I said that already. There's a deep knowing, a deep trust in this process and allowing this to just unfold naturally. Give me one second. Okay, so you have this eight of cups, which is really important because it's also connected to the high priestess and the four of coins reverse. So the four of coins reverse talks about really our old foundational um, aspects or our old foundational habits and beliefs, like they're on their way out, especially with that 10 of swords reversed, this eight or sorry, nine of wands reversed. No, eight of wands reversed, 10 of swords reverse, nine of cups reverse, four of coins reverse. Like this is a lot of, it's like your values are shifting, your belief systems, um, your fears and anxieties. It's, it's like you're just now seeing that all of those things, they really don't have the same power that they used to. So maybe you held yourself back for whatever reason because you thought that you wouldn't be successful or people don't want to hear your opinion or whatever it is. And now it's like, fuck that. I'm just going to go for it. So I feel like a lot of you, again, you've been carrying this for a while. And right now we have Pluto in retrograde in Capricorn for the last time in our lives. Like this won't happen again in your lifetime. It just won't. So when Pluto is retrograding in Capricorn, there's really an opportunity for us to review our foundations and how we've been investing our time, our energy, our money, and to think about how we want to shift those investments into a new cycle, the new moon eclipse. That new moon eclipse is in uh, Libra, which is connected to relationships, collaborations, values. Because when you think about Libra, you also want to focus on Venus because Venus is connected to Libra. So if you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, don't get so focused on the specifics. Just listen to the overall message. The overall message is, I'm telling you right now, there is a deep foundational shift in your life happening connected to how you spend your time, energy, money, and the beliefs and the habits that are connected to the choices that you make every day. And a lot of that is really connected to an invitation to connect with people and connect with the world around you in a new way because your values and how you want to express yourself, how you want to create is shifting on a deep spiritual level. So if what I just said to you is like, yeah, I am feeling that, good. Then click here and watch the fucking workshop, okay? because that workshop is going to help clarify how to work with this energy because you need to amplify this energy and not amplify and get lost in the old outdated life, the old outdated energies that are like, it's just, it's not, I don't wanna say it's not part of you, but it doesn't hold the same priority that it used to. So like maybe, for example, we still wanna have fun and go out and have a drink or whatever. Fine, but that's not your life's uh, your lifestyle now. It's not your lifestyle now. It's it's different. And sure, like go out, you know, have fun, have a drink, do your thing. But it's like that's not your whole world anymore, or whatever. So that's just one example. So try to figure out where in your life you are really reestablishing boundaries and structures and habits and beliefs and investments of time, energy, money, and all those things, because this is really helping you prepare for when Pluto will enter your sign again 
and stay there for the rest of your life, okay? So Pluto in Aquarius is gonna bring a lot of power. And where do you want that power to go? Well, right now, under this eclipse, and we just had the eclipse like two days ago or something like that, like under this eclipse, it's really important that you are directing your energy onto the things that you want to expand, okay? How do you do that, bitch? Like I told you three times, you're gonna go watch the workshop and I'm gonna tell you how to do that. You have this big renewal taking place. There is a bit of grieving, I think, that still might come up. You have a major renewal happening and there's still some grieving or sadness or something that you need to just process and move through. That's fine. But like you have a lot of creative energy right now. You might be feeling a little sexual too. <laughs> um, there's a lot of creative, sexual sort of energy here. So play, play, play safely and consensually, <laughs> but play, okay? Um, you have a lot of opportunities coming. I have the seven of cups here that I really like for you because this is like just options, options, options. So many options, but some of those options are connected to your past self. And that's actually the person that you want to be clearing. So you have more available space for the other options that are connected to your expansive, abundant future. Okay. So what are you going to do? You're going to go watch the workshop. You're going to click right here. You're going to pay whatever you want. I don't care what you pay, but you need to watch it. And then, um, try to find like a new hobby or a class or something. I just think for the next little while, you in that playful, creative energy is really, really helpful, okay? I hope that helps, Aquarius. Um, I love you. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating. Um, share this on your Instagram story. Like these are free. I literally show up every fucking month for you. So please support me back. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Ciao.